Mallory Fisher and I was in the walk trot class and it takes a nice slow horse to do it. Um, Zippy, she's 14 years old and she's pretty slow so you have to have a nice slow trot and head has to be down not up so it was a lot of practice doing that so. and I'm from Marshalltown. Can you talk about how long you had your horse and how many hours you spent working? I've had her since she was 11, so I've had her for three years. And it, I went like, I try to do it every week and Three several hours each week with working with her. And it was a lot of hard work to make her do all the things she wanted her to do. I'm involved in halter showmanship. In hand trail, I'm gonna be doing barrels and flags. And I got grand champion with my horse over there. I do it every day. I spend time with them every day, working for them. And so. we have lessons each week, and I also work with them, you know, every day, and several hours each day, setting them up, and getting them ready. My name is Sarah Lewis and um, my mom and I run the rabbit program here for Marshall County um, and we have rabbit agility and rabbit hopping. Rabbit agility is a lot like rabbit or dog agility where we have teeters, we have jumps, we have A-frames, we have a stop box and it's timed as well as they have faults. Um, if the rabbit refuses they have a fault, if it goes under or around a an obstacle they have a fault as well. And we do on leash and off leash and then we also have rabbit hopping which is just jumps for the kids that don't want it or the rabbits that don't do as well with just the, the obstacles um, and it's timed as well and it has faults for refusals and um, missing. So hop they go for distance? Um, we don't have like a, a distance one but we will at the end do a high jump like a jump off where we'll just keep continuing to make it higher. But for the, the timed one, it's more short jumps, it's more just timed. Some rabbits, uh, it takes them a while to get used to the leash and the harness. We use a harness um, that's made for cats, is what we typically use. And, um, it's a lot of just kind of pushing them forward. We keep, teach them to stay on the carpet, and then we put a carpet under the, the course so that they won't go off and get loose. Um, and just getting them to go forward on the carpet and um, we use our hands to push them forward and then our feet to kind of steer them. We don't push with our feet so much um, as we use our hands and then the rabbits just kind of, the ones that especially really like it get so, the, there's a couple of kids that they go to put the rabbit down and it's already kind of running midair before they put it down because they're pretty excited. But. And, and they know what to do with the rabbit? Yeah. What to do. Yep, um, we pretty much just have straight courses. We've done some turn courses before, but they figure it out. Um, and the kids, can, like I said, can use their feet to kind of steer them. And we've in the past used clicker training with a pointer that they use for dogs too. Um, but for the most part, we just kind of steer the rabbits in the right direction and, 
and that's where the leash comes in, in handy and then as the kids and the rabbits get more accustomed to it they will go ahead and come off leash and just kind of follow the kids legs.
Yeah, fair starting out real good. You know, half the battle is the weather, and the weather's been real nice. It's been nice and calm, and so the issues that come up, they're, they're not really issues, right? So we've got a lot of great things going on. Uh, yesterday we had all the, the, the non-livestock judging happen. We had a lot of great exhibits. The judges were really excited about what they were able to see. And I think they had a really tough time on sending what they could send to the state fair. And they were seeing if they could get more. And we were calling the state office. And, but we sent, we sent a lot of great exhibits. We had to push a lot of good ones back to the booths. But I'd encourage everybody to come out there and see what we got at the exhibits here. Um, and then we started out with a movie night at Well, which is something else we haven't done before. And Dale came out. We celebrated his 91st birthday. And we watched The Wizard of Oz. And had about 100 people out there for the first time on that as well. And that was really good. We're excited to see the excitement and enthusiasm of the kids supporting all the different 4-H things and the people that come out and support them as well. And uh, today we got the horse show going on. We got a lot of great horses and a lot of those horses then are going to go on to the state fair and they've won a lot of great awards out there too. So we're excited to see that happen. And uh, then the rabbit agility is always something. You, it's always popular and it's great to watch the rabbits and the kids. Uh, how they train them. They're, they've been training for half a year on it and uh, the timing and how intense it gets when they're something that uh, they, they take this on to the state fair and we're trying to get other counties to join in and get it to be something that can be a competition at the state fair. Right now we're about the only county that has a very good well established program with it and we're excited to have that and show it off as much as we can. Uh, we got a lot of other great things going on out the fair, like always. <laughs> There's always something to do. We got great food, we got great weather, great entertainment, great kids out here, and the kids are phenomenal. So we're excited to, uh, you know, recognize them for their great achievements.